What do you regret finding out? My mom was 14 when she met my dad. He was 24. That my younger sister has a high rank in a local BDSM club. My mother died in a car accident when I was 3. I found out from a newspaper article years later that it was her fault. She wasn't paying attention and crossed the yellow line and ended both her life and that of the person in the other car. That my mother knew she had cancer a year before she told anyone or rather, a year before she was diagnosed. After I literally forced her to see a doctor for her then extremely distended stomach, I was under the impression that we told each other absolutely everything because up until that point, we did. I found out the truth a month after she died when I'd requested all of her cancer-related paperwork from her oncologist. That my best friend took her own life. She told me she was moving and gave me all her stuff because she said she had a furnished room where she was going. I hadn't heard from her in a while and she never answered my texts so I looked up her name to see if she had an accident. Nope. It was suicide. The kicker is she had talked me out of it back in 2014 and I wasn't able to be there for her. ETA. Thank you all so much for your kind words. They mean more than you know. I love all of you. ETA. I'm doing better after reading all your kind words and messages. I wish I could reply to each one personally. Thank you again for your kindness. About that dig fish in the Amazons. Mom telling me on regular basis when depressed that she wishes she would fall asleep and never wake up. Don't tell a six-year-old this. Damn. My ex is with a guy who is where I wanted to be in life five years ago. Delete Facebook dude. I didn't meet my dad until I was 15. It was in secret since my mother wanted nothing to do with him. Within the first three sentences exchanged, he felt the need to tell me that I was conceived on a beach in July during the last time they had sex. I was the product of going away frock in a relationship doomed before my conception. He followed it up with, we were good at two things. Me and your mom, fightin' and frockin'. Unfortunately we were fighting more than we were frocking so it stopped being worth it. Ten years later and this is still how I get my family history. I'm a rape baby. That my grandmother's fiance is a convicted pedophile. She doesn't care and has moved in with him. He was a teacher at a middle school and sexually abused and violently assaulted three handicapped children. When I was about 14 my mom took me to a tattoo shop to get her nipples pierced. While the procedure was happening, she turned to me and said, Your dad bites harder than that. I could have lived without that info. That my father cheated on my mother on a regular basis. I discovered he even went in an orgy while with my mom which is not a cool thing to learn when you're 15 and don't know if your mother knows or not. Finding out my father figure, mom's BF, is sexually attracted to me, even more so since I gave birth. That my ex-wife frocked my best friend just after we separated and while I was drowned in depression. My brother's girlfriend's NSFW Reddit account. It's supposed to be a couple's account. So you might guess the horrors I saw in there. That my former best friend was really only friends with me because I drove his drunk ass around. And because he wanted to get in my pants. That I'm possibly inbred. My dad had a kid with his first cousin and the kid had Down syndrome and a hole in his heart. Sweet as can be and really good at video games. Apparently that was a little common on my dad's side so it's possible I'm slightly inbred. About my mom frocking my, her, cousin, woke up in the middle of the night hearing her say his name. Uh, haunting. Editing to add, grandpa's brother's son. That, rappin' for Jesus, was faked. Edit, sorry for ruining it for everyone like it was ruined for me although I think we can all agree the pastor got bars. After we broke up. I found out my ex had been online looking for a sugar daddy only 3 months into our 12 month relationship. I thought the whole time she was genuine. Turns out most of the time she was lying to my face. She broke up with me and started frocking her sugar daddy she had found 2 months before she dumped me. What the Mr. Hands video is. Learning from my sister that my father told her that my mom's mom was not paralyzed from the waist down because she fell off a fence. It is that she was beaten so badly by the man she was seeing at the time. That my mother doesn't actually care for me but uses me as material to show off how much of a good mother she is and denies it by buttering me up to be more grateful about my life. Really hurt. That I'm not very smart. I'm not dumb or dim. But I've really had to come to terms with the fact that not only am I not the smartest man in the room, I'm probably damn near the stupidest. Just how close my pilonidal cyst, a hole that forms where your tail was as a fetus, was to making contact with my spine. I had an open wound for a year because the first surgeon was a frocking joke and it ripped immediately and he told me to take sit baths to help it close up naturally. By the time 11 months later I got the second surgery it was apparently only millimeters from tunneling to my spine, which could have caused me infection or death. 
I wish I never knew how close it was. BC I am terrified it's still tunneling on the inside even though completely closed now on the outside. I always blamed my best friend's erratic behavior on mental health issues until one day I found her passed out on my toilet and realized that her behavior always got erratic after bathroom visits. Unfortunately, she may have mental health issues but an addiction to certain drugs was the reason for most of her behavior. What my sister and her boyfriend were doing in the bubble bath. What tinnitus is, now I can't stop hearing it. The details of my parents' divorce. Thanks mom. My dad mentioning how tight my mother is. Thanks dad. Finding out my ex had slept with my uncle and three of my friends. How many cockroaches there are in Australia? The one that climbed my foot as I sat in the evening gaming freaked me out. I regret finding out that a priest I used to admire was a pedophile and has since been defrocked. Realizing I'm not all that okay with being a loner. It was easier when I didn't care that I had very few friends. That my mom knew my stepfather was abusing me and did nothing. Edit. I wish I could respond to everyone but to be honest I don't know that I have the emotional strength. This was a random comment that I did not expect to get much attention. Thank you to those who have given support and kind comments. Frock you to those who have said I should have done something more as a 10 year old kid. And I am so sorry to those who have had to deal with the same thing. I wish I could fix it for everyone. I know that today has been painful reading everyone's comments and stories for me. I am so so sorry. I'm going to take a nap and turn off my notifications. My father never wanted me, or children at all, and actually told my mother that if she had me, he'd spend his life making both of us miserable. She was convinced that once he saw me, he'd change his mind. She was very, very wrong. That my dad abused my sister. This comment is kind of maybe blowing up so I wanted to clarify something. I wasn't the one that found out. My sister confronted him. One of the bravest things I know of. And legal proceedings began. One night my mom got all of us together and told us. When I was around 10 years old. I was sitting on the couch and my older sister came towards me with a knife and stabbed a hole in the cushion about a foot from my leg. She pulled the knife out and immediately told me not to tell dad. I was young and naive and my sister had kind of twisted sense of humor so I really didn't know what to think. It definitely did some damage now that I look back on it. Years later my sister announced that she had planned to attack me with the knife, but chickened out at the last moment. At this point I had all but moved on from the incident, but this brought it all back and then some. That my dad is not my biological dad. Found out freshman year of college that my dad was not my biological father and my mom had an affair with a coworker. Later learned I had three stepbrothers and my biological father died of lung cancer. Learned I was a bastard with a family history of lung cancer. My mom told our family and her friends back in her home country that I am not her real daughter. That I was the as whole in my relationships. Turns out I've become the person I was afraid of becoming my entire life. My dad. A jealous dude with anger management issues who never sees his own faults. To be fair though, I've come a long way since my best friend straight up told me what I've become and that if I stayed that way she was going to stop being friends with me. I guess I don't regret finding out because it helped me get my sit together. However, the fact that you were the as whole and you were the reason some of your friends cut ties with you is a pretty hard pill to swallow. Especially knowing that you'll never get to make it up to some of them because it's been years. Why should they care at this point? That my ex sabotaged a condom to try and stop me from joining the military. Friend in middle school told me who Sheik was halfway through Ocarina of Time. I was simultaneously mind blown and utterly disappointed. The traumatic events that happened when I was 5 that my brain deliberately forgot until recently because it's just bad edit. Wow, thank you so much for all the support. I never expected in a million years that so many people would be so kind. Thank you. You could wake up mid surgery or Amnesia awareness where you feel all the pain from a surgery but you're asleep. And a surgery goes on for hours. The murder of Junko Furuta. All these comments are so sad and I just regret finding out that Leroy Jenkins was staged. Edit. Thanks for my first awards and I sincerely apologize for ruining Leroy for you guys. That my. Real. Dad isn't my dad. Mom decided to drop this hot news a week before I found her after she hung herself. Thanks. Mom. My ex said not to worry about a guy when we were together and she ended up marrying him after 5 years. I'm an accident and my mom smoked the whole pregnancy. That I made the wrong decision for my major. Wasted college. Good education does not translate into a good job. Study hard and you'll have an easy life later on is what I was made to believe. I'm in search of a job right now. And I've never felt this betrayed. It's like I woke up and living a nightmare. That I was diagnosed with anxiety, ADHD, 
and a tendency for manic episodes since I was like 4 to 5, but my mom didn't believe in psychiatry or medicine, and my dad thought I was quirky and didn't want me to change, so both agreed on not giving me medical attention. Now I'm 21, incredibly anxious, have had multiple EDs, and have mild depression. Also, my childhood life at school and making friends was incredibly hard, and finding out now that most of my social trauma could have been avoided but wasn't just pisses me off. How good it feels to to be high on opiates. Edit. After 10 years of addiction I have over 3 years clean now. That the HGTV shows like House Hunters or Love It or List It were totally scripted and fake. Like honestly can't we have one real reality show? Anytime I look up how a magic trick is done, I always think I want to know and then after I find out. The. Magic. Was more satisfying and regret looking it up. When I was 6 or 7, my mom missed my birthday. I remember crying and my grandma and uncle just kept saying. She's coming. Don't worry. She came, very late at night. They woke me up to tell me she was there and I was so excited but also wondering what kept her. She got me a dollhouse and told me she was out all day searching for the perfect, most best birthday gift for me. And I believed her. I found out later that she stole the dollhouse and had forgotten about my birthday because she had been laid up in a hotel room, smoking crack all day. She totally forgot about me. How horrible the procedure for taking out your wisdom teeth is. I have to take them all out so two weeks ago I went to the dentist in Europe. Here they don't use laughing gas but just a local anesthesia. I thought that they would take a scalpel and cut away till my tooth came out and then sew it up. Little did I know that they used almost a screwdriver to bend it out and afterwards a plier to bend it out even further. The dentist just leaned in my mouth with what seemed the strength of a million suns and cracked out my tooth while I was lying on the bench sweating profusely out of fear. I still have to take out two more on my left side. I need a 101% on my chem final to get an A. A friend of mine wants to kill herself after Christmas and IDK what to do about it. Edit. I've been getting many tips. I've already made a plan. If you're interested look through the comments. Edit 2. Well now it's 23. 12. Or 12. 23 for all you Americans. Almost all the audio in nature documentaries is created by human beings after the fact. The crunch of snow under a bear's foot. The splash of a great white shark jumping out of the water. The sifting through sand of a mole all frocking produced with props in a studio. I used to love Planet Earth but now I can't even get through an episode without thinking about a dude in stained sweatpants playing with wooden blocks. There used to be a website called TrueGore. Do not recommend. Junko Furuta. Black Dahlia. Degloving. Murder videos. Impalements. I learned about all of these from this website. Edit. The website is called BestGore. Do yourself a favor and don't let curiosity get the best of you. Knowing that my mom was just going to abort me and then realized that she had me and has never been there. Yeah she provided all the material stuff but she never was there emotionally. That has always crushed me. That my parents paid less attention to me than any of my other siblings. It still affects me to this day and while I have certainly made progress on it, it still is hard to get over the favoritism that still continues. Edit. Just editing this so I don't keep getting a ton of the exact same responses although they are all appreciated. Parents divorced when I was a teenager. My dad has gotten a lot better while my mom has continued to get worse. We are all working on it, besides my mom. Edit 2. I have read every response and have upvoted all of them. Let's form our own herd of black sheep. Way back when my husband and I were dating, I snuck a peek at his order history near my birthday and ruined my present. It was an beautiful engagement ring, exactly what I was hoping for. I was working multiple jobs going to school full-time and a general PMS monster during that time. I looked because my birthday present was late, and I assumed that he forgot. Nope. I never told him I knew that I knew he was planning on proposing and I don't ever plan to. Lack of sleep. Stress and hormones may have made me quite the breach around that time but he always saw me through that and I'm eternally grateful. Cigarettes are hard to quit. At a young age. Exactly how my father died by suicide. Also at a young age. Details of the sexual assaults and other physical and emotional abuse in my mom's family. That's too much for a four-year-old. I would have rather not known details. My parents. Toys. Let's just say I was surprised by what they had. I didn't think they were that crazy. I could never look at them the same way after that. That my girlfriend was orally raped when she was six years old. That dementia runs rampant in my family. I'll forget about it eventually I'm sure. How painful it is to take out ingworn toenail first time, the most painful was injection of anesthetics. Everything went great, but after 6 to 7 months it almost grew back. I had to take it out again, and the second time was so much painful. Injection of anesthetics was a lot more painful and took longer to work, and after procedure, it was a lot more painful than first time. 
I really hope it was the last time. I'm so scared to do it again. All the horror stories about urban life and poverty are not exaggerations. It really do be like that or worse. That the eye doctors. Blue light. Test for eye pressure is actually touching your eyeball. Now that I know. It makes me squirm every time. Even though I can't feel it with the numbing drops in. That my mother was forced to do migrant farm work in her teens and her uncles and father took her money. And that her uncle's gang raped her in the evenings if she didn't work hard enough. She was forced to pick cotton and other back-breaking labor. Found out when she was having an episode from her dementia. Nothing like hear a BG your mom slip into her native Spanish and scream at her uncles to stop. If they weren't all dead, I'd have hunted and killed all of them. About baby Yoda before watching the show. That my brother-in-law was into granny porn. When my mom first had me, every time I cried she would just start beating on me in my crib. That there is nothing medical science can do for me and the only way I'll be able to have penetrative six is if we use a numbing gel. I always wonder if my fiance really is happy. Also that the American medical system milked me for 10 years. Sending me to doctor after doctor starting from the very young and broke age of 16. I lost thousands of dollars to learn no information. Moved to the UK and got actual help for free. While my condition of primary provoked vulvodynia is an extreme case of specifically internal pain. Others have external pain where it hurts when they do something as simple as sitting, so I try to consider myself lucky. That I'm ugly. Edit. Okay, so after coming back, I see 37 notifications on my activity, and I was surprised. Even more so to see just how many people came and said such positive things. It made me laugh and the fact that some of you even stalked my profile is a little weird. But honestly I don't mind. I don't really have anything to hide. I've liked all the people who responded as I could see. And I'm gonna go back and read some more. I saw some people asking if some kids tell me that. And while that is the case. It was from when I was younger. I grew up in a slightly small town. And I was a year younger than everyone in my grade. Yet I was also the fattest and the tallest. Again. I thank everyone and will try to respond to as many as I can. Might be buried but whatever. So. The on campus at the university I attend. There's this large pond and ducks are always around there. It was all nice and cute until a couple classmates told me that they forgot how to migrate so many years ago that they now have to heat up the pond. And because they never migrate, they're all inbred. D. Male ducks. Especially mallards. Are bisexual. Necrophiliac rapists. Most famously, a Dutch scientist observed a male duck raping the corpse of another male duck for over an hour. But in general, you can find a lot of pictures and videos of males gang raping females. The quality of life in India is horrible when compared to majority of the other countries. Makes survival harder in this country knowing that I could have lived a better life had I not been born here. My dad cheating on my mom. I was super excited about getting a new phone so I plugged it into the computer and all the photos popped up from iPhoto. I still haven't had the heart to tell her since it would destroy her. I don't know if I should tell her or not she wouldn't have anything since she doesn't have a job and relies on my dad. That six is more than holding hands. That I am nobody's favorite person. That if you work hard and show initiative you'll still get frocked over by the world. I was a broken condom then failed abortion. Two times. Then adopted. My dentist had to take out four wisdom teeth. Two on left and two on right side. Unfortunately one tooth on my right side was infected and the anesthesia didn't numb me and they had to get two other dentist assistant to hold me. That my dad had denudes of my mom on his phone. 